For today's lesson, we're going to look at Socrative Tutorial, the teacher version. I'm Mr. Lopez from Shields Middle School, and this is my email address. So if there's anything that you need, any questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, email me. And so today you'll be able to create an account, create a quiz, share a quiz, download a quiz, copy a quiz, launch quiz, optimize launch options, and then check data, which is going to be pretty crucial because you can see how you can navigate and utilize it back and forth. Okay. And so what we want to do is we're going to look at going to Socrative. So that's, that's what we're going to actually shoot for right now. Okay. So we're going to be right here. You're going to go to Socrative.com. When you hit login, if this of course is, if this is your first time using it, it's going to ask you to sign up and it's totally free. Um, there is a, a version that you pay for. It's a powerful version. Uh, currently, right now, I'm actually using the free version, so I'm going to show you how to kind of navigate that. Okay. And so, what we're going to do is that we're going to actually go to to the launch. When you launch, this is going to be very crucial because they're going to actually give you a class name which you can change. My class name happens to be Lopez Six Zero Three Three, and you're going to see later on in the tutorial for students how that becomes crucial because that's what they're going to use to sign into your test okay all right so let's go for it so you've created your account and now what we want to do is that we want to start to build your quizzes okay so we're going to go to quiz and for quiz you'll notice let's go ahead and create one okay so we're going to create one you see I've kind of created some some dummy quizzes here but let's do it together okay so we're going to add quiz create new and let's go for it so we're gonna go ahead and call this let's give it a name quiz three all right now notice you can create multiple choice true and false or short answers so it's pretty comprehensive depending on what angle you want to take it but let's keep it multiple choice all right so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and create a question so what okay is the color of my dog okay so I'm gonna give you some options so here you can see where you can print your options blue black white and green now you can add more answers if you want to but we'll just keep it simple with a b c and d okay so let's see if you guys can figure it out you're probably eliminating blue and green but it would be black is actually the color if I had a dog unfortunately currently I don't have a dog but maybe soon so you can go down here and you can actually add um, more questions so you can do the same exact thing multiple choice and then add another question you can type to it okay if you make a mistake um, you can just trash the question um, what you can also do is if you add a question here okay you can actually flip-flop them so you can make this question come down here make this question go up there you can actually copy questions like for example right here I can go ahead and copy the same question okay so if I want to um, well the first thing I have to do is let's go ahead and trash this one because the program is recognizing that you're still on question number two okay so now we can duplicate it so you see how I was able to duplicate it and I'm able here to kind of flip-flop them see I'm able to actually it's kind of hard to tell because it's the same question but you can move them up and you can move them down how, however you decide so there's a lot of power behind how you want to set up your questions all right so another option that you have let's say you want to edit notice here okay this particular option is going to actually allow you to download an image a graph so you can actually go here and you can look for a certain image that you might want okay all right so let's say I'm um, right now currently I'm trying to look for something here that we could probably use you can look in your photos let's say we want to use this one right here open and bam there it is so I'm saying so you can use graphs you can modify it um there's some other things that you can actually do to create graphs and maybe in another tutorial we can set that one up but let's stick to this all right so now we've set up our question we can 
position it the way we want to. We can add choices. We can go multiple choice, true, false, short answer. And we can now insert graphs or pictures or, or whatever you have it. Now, the student version, and we'll show you later, they'll be able to click on this and it'll actually pop up full screen. Okay. All right. So let's keep it going. So we've created the question. Now, let's say you've created a, a test. Now you can save and we want to exit out and you want to share it with a colleague okay so now we're going to focus over here we're going to focus on sharing all right so we have three options we can copy we can download or we can share so let's focus on sharing since that's what we talked about now what you can do is you can copy it show you how easy this is now so i'm going to copy it okay now if you email it to a friend all they have to do is take that link and and put that link in the URL okay so I'm gonna put that in the URL all right and look at how easy this is bada bing bada boom there it is quiz imported so now it imported your colleagues test automatically without having you do any work now all you have to do is go back in here and kind of manipulate it the way you want to okay so let's say let's go right back so it's the same we're going back where we were so we shared now let's focus on copying now to copy basically here all you would do is you hit copy and you notice it's going to now give you another quiz the same exact one what i like about this is that it gives you an opportunity to create a bank of questions and then if you want to sign this for e-learning you'll be able to create like mini homework quizzes pre-assessments um, just quick checkpoints as you're navigating through it okay now let's look at download the download option is going to give you um, an opportunity to download the test without having you manipulate move slides around or questions and it's pretty pretty sleek so let's look at what it looks like and there it is there's my graph so you have the power to, to title it to flip your questions however you want to handle it okay all right so so far let's talk about we've created our account we've created the quiz and we talked about sharing downloading and copying the quiz okay now what we want to do is we want to talk about how to launch them so how do we actually get this out to our students all right so let's take a look to launch it what you want to do is if you already have a quiz that's out there that the students are using okay you actually want to go ahead and go to results and you want to hit finish okay and finishing is going to actually shut it down for the students that are out there for you to load another one up okay so let's go to launch so notice I'm launching here I'm gonna to go to quiz because that's where we have to select now let me go after the one that we've been using for e-learning currently okay because i don't want the kids to knock me out now here's a phenomenal feature instant feedback and this is the default setting that they use but what i've learned is in this default setting the students will be able to go back to the quiz take it one time write the answers down go back and take it again and get a hundred so we're going to make a little tricky for them. So we're going to hit shuffle status and shuffle answers, both of these. So you'll notice here we've shuffled everything completely. So every time they go back, it's completely shuffled. You can actually have students side by side without any dividers take the test, and they're going to be taking a completely t new test. What's awesome is that the computer, and I'll show you, the computer is going to allow you to take that information and set it where the questions are actually at. So we'll look at that in just a minute. So here we're going to hit start, and now we're ready to go. And so here you have a couple options. Um, you can hit, for example, it says show students' names. You can block that if you're actually using this on a projector, and the kids love it. Like, let me show you. Let's look at reports, okay? So I'm going to pull up reports of, well, let me, let me pull up one that's a little bit more comprehensive. So let's try this one, okay? Now, you'll notice I have students' names blocked. So in my classroom, we can actually show the progression of how they're doing with an assessment within the class itself, okay? And the kids love this because they love to compete, and you'll notice that you can actually see the trend in how they're doing. 
okay so you see how it's pixelated it's going to give you the opportunity to check your data and see what kind of growth you have now in all fairness I just launched this um, just these past couple of days so you can see we've got some work to do here okay now as I'm looking at my data I can see question number one it doesn't matter how I was shuffled it's always going to be inserted back to one that there's uh, we got low achievement going on here so for 56 it's going to allow me to go back to that question okay and kind of reassess it but if I look over here question number seven I see that the students are getting that so it gives you the power to look at again the strand of learning that they're having and what you can do to kind of navigate and go back and kind of reassess that as an educator all right so there's my reports okay here's my results okay now already this is going to let me know how many students are logging into it so you want to keep this live so that portion there you always want to keep live okay now remember if you hit finish that will shut down like I said the test that you have live out there so you always want to keep this here unless you're going to navigate into a new one and remember where do we say you'd go ah not bad right we're going to go to launch so anytime you want to launch a quiz we're going to go right here okay and if you hit, if you look if you hit quiz it's going to let you know here would you like to stop the current activity and start a new one remember if you hit yes it's going to shut down what you currently have okay so be cautious with that all right so we've created the account created the quiz we shared the quiz we've downloaded remember this is where we were at remember add we shared okay we had the opportunity to download the quiz copy quiz launch the quiz okay we talked about the different options we had remember and now what we did is we were able to kind of check that data okay so one more time remember here are your results for what you've launched here's the reports that you can check remember Lopez 6003 is my classroom number but you're gonna have your unique room name here's your quizzes that we learned how to navigate and then launch okay and so remember if there's anything out there that you don't want you can always click here and then you can trash that all right so I hope that this was helpful remember this is the teacher version uh, and soon I'll go ahead and work on the student version so you can show your students how to navigate that one thank you so much